Clark. Today, from the new film Killer Heat, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. And a performance from recording artist Arthur Hanlon. Plus, fall into healthy eating habits as we continue our fall. Four. You guys, please be seated. We haven't done anything yet to earn all of this. Um, welcome to the show. Yeah, welcome to the show. Hey, uh, do you know why autumn can make you feel extra sleepy? Because you and I feel extra sleepy today. I took a big nap yesterday. I know you did. I was drooling. I woke up in drool. I know. I saw that it. That was great. I watched it. I walked out of the room and I was, I, I thought to myself, could he be going down for the night at 4.30 p.m.? It was good. And yeah. I, it's one, it was one of those naps that um, I was awake for like 15 to 20 minutes, but I couldn't move. At the end, I just like, I, I should get up. Sleep paralysis? No, 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 no. Oh. It wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. It was like, uh, this is so, this is such a long nap. And I should get up, but this is, and I could feel the wet. <laughs> On the, on the comforter, I'm like, wow, that was a good That nap. was on my side of the bed. <laughs> uh, well, you're used to that. Um, this is why autumn can make you feel extra sleepy. Tell me. There's like, uh, there's a lot of, you know, there's a reason animals start to hibernate during this time. Uh, autumn has started influencing the things that make us want to take naps. Uh, the weather uh -huh. can make you feel tired. It's called weather whiplash, the sudden changes in the okay. weather. We, we're not really getting that, though. Sunny, well, I mean, we had, ex we had warm, beautiful, sunny weekend, and then followed by, like, it suddenly feels cold. It feels like fall. It's chilly. Okay. Um, they also, the um, abrupt changes can dis disrupt our circadian rhythm, which we uh. hear about all the time. It leads to fatigue and increased desire to sleep. Got it. Got it. <laughs> as, as evidenced by our Tuesday. <laughs> um, See, you guys were really up and now, but now it's nappy nap time. Our, our sleep got interrupted because we're watching, we're watching, there, there's such good TV on right now. Oh my gosh. We're watching, like we're, we're in a Ryan Murphy. We're in a Ryan Murphy hole. Hole of yes. shows. We've been watching on, is it Hulu? Hulu. The or Aaron, FX. Well, FX. Right. But, right? It's on, we, but we're watching, watching it on Hulu. It the Hulu. Aaron Hernandez story about yes. the football player for the Patriots. Wow. Right. So we, you don't watch it's that right called, before you go to bed. Yeah, don't watch it before bed because then you won't be able to sleep. sleep. But I think it's called American Sports Story. Yes. Aaron yeah. Hernandez. And then we're watching the... Menendez Brothers? Yes, another Ryan Murphy, Murphy joint. show. Yes. Wow, and that's that's more timely for us because we were, that was like 89 when that was happening. We were right. just in like getting out of high school. Right. And so just two great shows. Um, and we just binge like. We've been binging like, like pigs. Like pigs. But at nighttime, at so nighttime. then we can't sleep. Yeah. Because then we're up all night. And we're like, you know. and we're like just one more. Just what, one more? Just one more? Should we do one more? Should we just check like the first 15 minutes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, hey, listen, um, hurricane mode, going into hurricane mode, uh, Helen is expected to lash Florida as a Category 3 storm this week. Oh, no. It's brewing um, in the Caribbean Sea. And is it H Helen or Helene or Helena? Helene. Helene. Okay. Helene. Just yeah. asking. So, everybody careful there. It's, uh, when's it supposed to hit, Gilman? This, well, they're not sure, but it's going to probably be northern Thursday. Florida. Yeah, Thursday. Yeah, they're as, er, as early as Thursday. So be careful there. And, mm. the, and the panhandle. Mm -hmm. um, well, you know, I, 
was talking about that cute hippo. I don't know if you guys yeah, watch really the show cute. every day, the yeah. world's cutest little hippo. Um, well, now there's a new animal sweeping the internet, Pesto the baby penguin. Already taller than his parents, he's a social media star. <laughs> Just nine months old, he weighs 50 pounds. Wow. Um, he's about three feet tall, towering over his parents. He's gone viral online, uh, and it's provided an opportunity for people to learn more about penguins. Uh, most people recognize the adult black and white birds. King penguins are born covered in brown downy feathers. And once they learn how to swim, they begin shedding those feathers. No. A, a process known as fledging. Aww. Aww. Uh, and penguins are also uh, sexually dimorphic, which mm -hmm. means you can't tell their sex by looking at them. Mm. Same. <laughs> 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 He's cute. He's really cute. I think cute. made a great penguin. penguin. <laughs> yeah, we like yeah. penguins. They made for life, right? They made right? for life, yeah. Like two, like two mm -hmm. penguins. Yeah, two penguins. Aww. Yeah. Aww. But you can, yeah, you can tell. <laughs> um, hey, listen, you know what? I'm getting a lot of flack. I've been getting a lot of flack here. You've been getting flack? Yeah, I've been getting, by, by the sports fans on the show. I, t I only talk about the Jets and the Giants as the two New York teams. And I'm our, sorry, and you also talk about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I understand, but as far as, as far as, yay. <laughs> But as far as but as far as New York teams go, you know, it's ironic because the Jets and the Giants they're playing New Jersey, which yes, is I hilarious. Know. Yes, which is hilarious. But the Bills, we have the Bills. Yes. We have the Bills. Um, they won last night. They beat up on the Jaguars. They won forty-seven to ten. Wow. Um, what are the Bills? How, what what's their record this year? Does anybody know? No idea. Three no. Three no? The, okay, all right, so you know what? Here I go. I, I like, I, I love my Buccaneers. I'm a Tampa boy, right? But if I'm gonna vote for, if I'm gonna get behind a New York team, I'm gonna get behind the Bills. That's uh -huh. my team. Okay. okay. Just like that, that's my team. They're, they're, they're in another conference. They're in the, um, the AFC, the Bucks are in the NFC. So I can, I can, I can get behind them and what, not feel like I'm a traitor. Whatever floats your boat. I, I literally I have, have not no understood the last three sentences you've said. Um, and it gets cold up there and they play in yeah. brutal conditions. And their fans are very devoted. The very devoted right? fans. Yeah, very devoted right. fans. All right, so New York, put your thumbs away. I'm um, I'm officially behind the bills. You know that's not what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> what <are> you <laughs> well, uh, because I thought you were taking flack for other things going on. You know, I I don't know if you have been following this, but there is an election going on. Mm -hmm. I would say the most consequential, consequential election of our, our of our lives. Yes, uh, people's sexiest man alive. <laughs> <laughs> the voting has started. And apparently there is this, uh, there's this, uh, I don't know what you would call it. Controversy? Not a controversy, but uh, a rivalry that is started by our beloved Jimmy Fallon with our own beloved Mark Consuelos. <laughs> Jimmy Fallon asked Mark Consuelos to drop out of the running so that he could have a chance to win. And Mark I Consuelos it. contemplated it. I considered he, it. He, he, he prayed over it. He had thoughtful <laughs> reflection about it and then decided, no, no, he would not drop out <laughs> of the running. Yeah. Uh, because, uh, as you know, Mark will rob our own viewers of mugs and T-shirts, and he's a very competitive guy. Yeah. So I guess there's a super pack. I didn't even yeah. know our show had a super what? pack. Yeah. Our show has a super no. pack. No. Yes. Our show has a super pack, and they put together a campaign ad. Would yeah. you like to see it? Yeah. <laughs> Roll the ad, I'm sure we're all gonna regret this. <laughs> Check one, two, one, two. How does that sound? You know him. You love him. You love to stump him. You're wrong. Mark, you are wrong. Now Mark needs your vote. election of our time. The stakes are high. And the sexiest TV host alive. And the competition is 
stiff. And I'm having some stiff competition. I mean, it's Mario Lopez. Seth Meyers. Seth, Seth Meyers. Meyers, yes. I love all these guys. Well, semi-stiff. Jimmy Fallon apparently has put out a plea. plea. Yeah, a plea. yeah, he asked, he, he asked if I would step aside. <laughs> Mark Consuelos, I'm going to ask you right now. Please remove your name. Only one can be crowned America's sexiest TV host. Vote early and often. Vote Mark Consuelos for sexiest TV host. A sex off? This all sounds wrong. I'm Mark Consuelos. I do not approve this message. <laughs> by the citizens for a sexier tomorrow. <laughs> that's, uh, that's our very, very talented Seth Gronquist here, who just does a great job with everything he does. You can cast your vote for Mark at people.com. Yeah, so it is a, it's a very consequential, <laughs> consequential election. You can also vote for Jimmy. <laughs> Yeah, if you're not going to vote for me, vote for Jimmy. Vote for Jimmy. Hey, I've got one more item. The ugly side of pretty. Um, pivoting on that. <laughs> pivoting on sexy yeah, to pretty. The gorgeous people of the internet have recently lamented the alleged disadvantages of life that come with their good looks. Contrary to proper belief in so-called pretty privilege. Oh. You know, many commentators <laughs> lamented that unwanted attention. <laughs> Um, and harassment, while others are being beautiful, affects their reputation. <laughs> I have been accused a few times of flirting with men when I'm literally just doing my job. Same. <laughs> um, someone else noted, I've experienced others pretending to be my friends just to be seen with me. Oh. Um, you're presumed to be dumb. Oh. Yeah. Poor pretty people. Poor. What say you about that, Miss Consuelos? So, I feel so bad for the pretty people. Yes. <laughs> These are all things I never considered. I never considered what they go through. We have pre we, our assistants are very pretty. Oh my God. We have the we have the we we have Mark and I shamelessly. I mean, listen. I don't want to reduce them to their looks because our chiefs of staff are extraordinarily good at their jobs. They're very good. But they happen to be insanely good looking people. Look at them. Look at, they, look like a, they look like a photo shoot. Grant, when Grant came into our to our home to interview, we just sat. I didn't hear. I didn't hear a word he said. <laughs> Same with Lauren. Yeah. Do you remember yeah. Lauren? I was like that pretty girl from New Jersey. What's her name? <laughs> uh, and she would just. I'm the only job Lauren has ever had out of college. Okay, she doesn't even know how many better jobs there are out there. <laughs> But I told her, I was like, look, once in a while, I'll throw you on camera, and who knows, maybe you'll be discovered. <laughs> <laughs> now, Lauren's, Lauren's married. Lauren is married. Been married. Lauren, Lauren how long is married. Have you been married? Been married. Uh, how long? 14 years. 14 years. Now, Grant, on the other hand, is single. <laughs> Grant. Ready to mingle. So if anybody wants to write in and... <laughs> Yes, we will read your you will read your offerings yeah. later on in the show. Later on in the show. Hey, I want to give a shout out today, a happy pub day to Uzo Aduba, uh, who has written Uzo. an extraordinary memoir. I just got it yesterday. I started reading it last night, and all, and I started sobbing immediately. This book is inspirational. <laughs> Um, and it is a love letter, and, she's, and you'll and she's see lovely. what I mean when yeah. when you read it. It is really um, just an extraordinary story about uh, family love, and you know what? It's a book we could all use right now, and I highly recommend going out and getting this book today. So uh, congratulations, Uzo. I love you so much. I'm so proud of you. Uh, and you made your baby daughter very proud, and you've made your mother very proud. All right. Big show today. Joseph Gordon-Levitt is here.
we continue fall into the season with tips on how to take advantage of the best foods that fall has to offer. And we have a performance mm. by Arthur Hanlon featuring Jotel Romero. I heard and it's I heard going to be, Yeah. It's really good. You're going to be moving. I know. You're going to be moving. Cindy McDonald said to me, put on a sports bra today. <laughs> And I was like, why? And she said, because this song is going to have you bouncing. And I go, I don't need a sports bra. <laughs> Trust me. I'm penguin like that. Uh... <laughs> all right, okay. it's the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time to play. <laughs> from Staten Island, New York, who watches the show on WABC. She wants to stump me so she can come to the show and wear her T-shirt. Mm, I like that. All right, good morning, Terry. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you guys? We're I love doing... watching you. Aw, oh, thank you so much. Well, listen, you know how this game works. You give me, you've given me two statements. One is true, one is false. I have 60 seconds to decide which is the truth, and if you stump me, you win this. Here are Terry's two statements. I grow a vegetable garden every summer, or I celebrated my retirement with a hot air balloon ride. All right, um, what do you like to put in your vegetable garden, Terry? Uh, we grow tomatoes, uh, sweet and hot peppers, cucumbers, um, string beans, okay. strawberries. Oh, strawberries. Things like that. Okay, yeah. great. And what about uh, zucchini? Uh, yeah, uh, no, you know what? I don't have lots of zucchini. I grow one zucchini in, in the whole summer. <laughs> okay. All right. That's good. I like a zucchini. Um, you cel you celebrated your retirement. What were, you, what were you doing for a job? I worked for the Board of Ed. Okay. So I was going back to work for like two days after Labor Day. Uh -huh. Okay. So, and then, you, and they gave you a, like a hot air balloon ride as as a gift. My my kids did. Yes. Where was this? At Hudson Valley because it's nearby. Hmm. Huh. 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 <laughs> um. I mean, I know the I know people grow gardens in Staten Island for sure. That happens over there. <laughs> Maybe. Yep. <laughs> Otherwise known as Staten, Italy. Yeah. <laughs> Staten, Italy. Um, okay, I think that you grow a vegetable garden every summer. Uh, you're right. Yeah. I wanted that pizza. <laughs> Only mine. I'm sorry. That's okay. Well, I know one lady I'll that's not you. voting for you for people's <laughs> sexy as <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Voted I'm for sorry. Jimmy you did. Fallon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy would have given you the mug and the yeah. T-shirt. You know, I'm. I'm yes, he would have. <laughs> it may seem like I don't enjoy winning because I, I feel bad, but that's that's not true. I do enjoy winning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. I was gonna say that. You didn't win the mug or the t-shirt, but you still have a chance to win a valuable trip. It's time for Great Getaways Travel Trivia. Sexiest man. Well, you got one vote. <laughs> Deja, spin the wheel and see if we can't win Terry a prize. Okay.
Terry, you're playing for a trip for two to the St. James's Club and Villas in Antigua. Seven days and six nights in a royal suite. It's all inclusive. It's a prize valued at $8,200. You have 20 seconds and only one guess. Good luck. All right, Terry, here we go. Last week, what scientific principle did we say we demonstrated when we broke the world record with leaf blowers? <laughs> what scientific principle? Say that again. Yeah, last week, what scientific principle did we say we demonstrated when we broke the world record with leaf blowers? I don't know. I think uh, how you carry air. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that, that's, uh, no, I'm sorry. Um, oh, man, I know. I know, ah. I know, I'm sorry. Bernoulli's principle. Yeah. Was the Ber answer we yeah. were looking for. Bernoulli's. But listen, yeah. Terry, there's listen. still exciting news. You'll now be entered into our grand prize drawing for a 13-day voyage to Antarctica valued at $42,000. <laughs> Studio audience will each receive a Roomba vacuum cleaner from iRobot. So please pick a number between 1 and 168. Uh, I'm going to say 68. Okay. 68. with a look at fall foods. A performance by Arthur Hanlon. <laughs> Remember? Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. I know I love bread, but I don't remember you get a that. Piece. Yeah. Okay, I don't. I remember you ate a lot of bread that week. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. But it must be the bread poisoning exactly. from all the bread. <laughs> all right, he's been entertaining us for over three decades and hit films like Ten Things I Hate About You and Inception. Please welcome back to the show, Joseph Gordon Levitt. <laughs> I look like a hey, well, yeah. thanks. Or, like a GQ uh, model. You know, I'll take it. I'll take it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Angels you look in like the model. Outfield just celebrated its 30th anniversary. <laughs> 30th How is that anniversary? Possible? Yeah, really. Have your kids seen it? Just like that. Oh 30 look years. At you. Have you, have your kids seen the movie? My kids did watch that movie, actually. Yeah, you know, this is one of the things I love so much about being a dad is you get to kind of experience a thing again yeah. from a different angle. Right. Yeah. Like when I was making the movie, I was me. Right. But then watching them watch the movie, you know what happens when a kid watches a movie, they get into it. They put themselves in the right. shoes of the protagonist. Sure. And now I'm watching them kind of be almost me. Not, they're not me, they're their own person. But now I'm getting to see it from the dad angle. You know what I mean? That's it's the tribute thing. I love yeah. it. What's interesting is most kids cannot even conceptualize their parents as children. Right. And your kids get to see you oh, that's true. as a child. You know, I hadn't thought of that it's, exactly. It's really interesting. Yeah, it must blow their mind. Yeah, I know, <laughs> mind blowing. True. And congratulations. Since we uh, last saw you, you had another baby. That's true. Yeah. Thank Three. you. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Three. Yeah. You, what that you guys have three? We have three. We have three. Three's great. I'm a big fan of three. Three is a good, yeah, it's a good, <laughs> I mean, it's a little wild. True, true. Okay. For your wife's birthday, um, you sang a Taylor Swift song right. of Fallon. Yeah. What a great gift. Did she like it? Thank you. Yeah. Well, I felt so bad that I wasn't in town with her you were for working. her birthday. Yeah. I was here in New York City doing press for a, a different movie. 
and I, I love being together with her. I love celebrating her. I felt really bad actually not being Aww. there. So I felt like I had to do something. And you, yeah, so yeah, I got to sing her a song on, on the Tonight Show. And the thing is, like, I'm, you know, she and I are pretty private. She's not used to me mentioning her in press or anything right. like that. So when I, I sat her down, I was like, oh, let's watch the, I did the Tonight Show. And she's like, okay, cool. She had no idea that was coming. She was genuinely shocked. She went, <laughs> and do you know what she's been doing ever since? What? what? Voting for Jimmy Fallon. For yeah. <laughs> hey, did, did Taylor Swift acknowledge your performance? Well, ta so the Taylor Swift Instagram account liked the post. Oh, no so kidding. Oh, well, that's, that's I don't huge. know if that's her, if she operates her own account or what, but I am going to believe that Taylor yeah. saw it. Yeah, and of course. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> That's really exciting. Yeah, it was exciting. Did I sent you, it to my wife. I was like, new, look, Taylor, like. <laughs> did you get new followers? Um, did I get new followers? I can't keep track of that stuff. <laughs> it's poisonous to get too into that stuff, seriously. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break. Uh, when we return, we'll find out what brought Joseph to Greece for the summer. Stick around. Don't mean to be rude. I just like to look people in the eye when I talk to them. I have a problem of my own, and I can't trust the local police. Why is that? My husband's family owns them. The Bardakises are like gods here. In Crete, no one goes against the gods. Oh. That was a clip from Killer Heat. Tell us about the film. You actually shot it in Crete. They were talking about Crete. We were there in Crete. Mm. In yeah, Crete. Absolutely. During the commercial break, Kelly and Mark were just like, we, we love, love Greece Greece. so much. <laughs> Did you love Greece? I had never been to Greece. Yeah. This is my first time. So tell us everything. Did you pick up the language at all? A little bit. And I got to speak a little bit in the movie. And ah. the funny thing is I didn't have a tutor or anything like that because we were really there. Right. So I would just turn to the customer or, you know, the guy in the lighting crew and say, like, will you say that to me again just so I can remember I want to pronounce it right. It's a beautiful language. I it was really saying is. that, that uh, in Greece, the Greek people are so willing to be patient with you and teach you their language. Yeah. In a way that you yeah, never, you don't it. feel stupid for it, you mm -hmm. don't feel intimidated. <laughs> Từ 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 Để 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 cho thở cái Để cho thở cái từ 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 Tôi nói rồi Để cho tôi thở cái Sao cứ đấm tôi hoài Đã xấu mà còn không giữ Ê, ê, đây nè, đây nè, thì ra là em em úp mặt vô tường Baby, come on, come on Trời ơi, trời ơi, úp mặt vô tường chờ chị hả Chị không phụ lòng em đâu Con cô Gila Cô Gila Ơi, ơi, bên đây không thấy đường Cái này, cái đây, cái đây Cái đây Con hai con thì sao đánh Bởi vì nó hai đến một con chó cũng què đã Nó thấy là nó cũng đi nữa Rồi chơi nha chơi nha Để tôi thở cái hai đánh tiếp Đâu rồi đâu rồi Rồi xong nữa Ủa nó có nhảy xuống sông được không Ê kìa kìa nó kìa nó kìa con nào đánh con này trước đi <cười> Ê, nó té mất cửa vậy <cười> đó rồi rồi còn em kia em kia em kia ê ê ê để xích qua đây qua đây Tôi 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 để thở để thở cái từ 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 bình tĩnh bình tĩnh bình tĩnh bình tĩnh Đó thấy chưa Phải nói là để thở rồi mà Nghe Cho chết luôn
Coi chết hoài luôn vậy hả ta Không được Mình phải cải thiện cuộc sống thôi Ủa đâu rồi cái đảo rồi Bên đây 